It is 713 this morning. 111 years ago, a fierce storm in the Midwest brought high winds, tornadoes, ice, snow. It slowed the th city to a crawl, set a stage for the most devastating floods in Ohio history. Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ben Gelber has the history of the Great Flood of 1913 that set in motion our modern flood protection measures. Monica, this weekend is the anniversary of the start of Ohio's worst weather disaster in history. Light rain began falling on Easter Sunday, 1913. Within days, every major waterway in the region was over its banks at a time before flood warnings were available to alert residents to move out of harm's way. Two storm systems in four days would combine to drop seven inches of rain on Columbus and more than 10 inches northwest of the city. Franklinton, the area west of the river up to about what is now Central Avenue. Uh, that area really began to flood. The confluence of the Olentangy and Sieta rivers flooded the west side of town in East Franklinton, then known as the Bottoms. There were some areas that flooded up to 17 feet. Columbus residents trapped by the rising floodwaters climbed to rooftops and clung to trees waiting to be rescued from the raging floodwaters around Glenwood, Sullivan and Central Avenues that turned into whirlpools at railroad underpasses. Over 500 homes were destroyed and there were over 4,000 different homes and buildings that were actually damaged, damaged badly. A large dam at Yale Avenue broke, unleashing torrents of rushing water that destroyed all the bridges in town and tore homes from their foundations, sending massive debris downstream. Station 10 shows horse-drawn carriages doing rescue work. Ohio State University students helped out with the rescuing of, of people during the flood. The Franklinton flood wall completed about 20 years ago was built in response to this massive disaster that took 98 lives in Columbus and the lives of nearly 500 Ohioans. So remember, a flood watch means conditions are favorable for an overflow of water on normally dry land. A flood warning means flooding is imminent and move to higher ground immediately. River floods tend to develop more slowly than flash floods that often occur within six hours, sometimes much less. Rapid water rises can inundate low-lying areas quickly. Only six inches of water can sweep a person off their feet. A foot of water can float a small car, and two feet of flowing water will take a small truck or SUV downstream. So remember, turn around, don't drown. It means never cross a flooded roadway because you don't know how deep the water is, how strong the current is, or if the pavement is still intact. Local for you, meteorologist Ben Gelber, NBC4.